Sarcopenia, also known as muscle loss, is a common condition that affects about 10% of people over the age of 50. Although some of the causes of sarcopenia are natural consequences of aging, others are preventable. In fact, a healthy diet and regular exercise can reverse sarcopenia, increasing lifespan and quality of life. In this video, I'm looking at the proven ways you can fight it. Sarcopenia literally means lack of flesh. It's a condition of age-associated muscle degeneration that becomes more common in people over the age of 50. It's caused by an imbalance between signals from muscle cell growth and signals for teardown. Now, cell growth processes are called anabolism and cell teardown processes are called catabolism. Although aging is the most common cause of sarcopenia, other factors can trigger an imbalance between anabolism and catabolism. The first one is immobility, including a sedentary lifestyle. So basically, disuse of muscle is one of the strongest triggers of sarcopenia. Uh, even just two to three weeks of decreased walking and other regular activity is also enough to decrease muscle mass and strength. And the second is inadequate diet. Uh, a diet providing insufficient calories and protein results in weight loss and diminished muscle mass. Unfortunately, low calorie and low protein diets become more common with aging. And number three is long-term inflammation. So after injury or illness, inflammation sends signals to the body to tear down and then rebuild the damaged groups of cells. Now, chronic or long-term diseases can also result in inflammation that disrupts the normal balance of tear down and healing, uh, resulting in muscle loss. The fourth is severe stress. Um, sarcopenia is also more common in a number of other health conditions that increase stress on the body. And for example, cancer, um, chronic kidney disease, and liver disease. So to summarize, in addition to aging, sarcopenia is caused by low physical activity levels, uh, insufficient calorie and protein intake, uh, and inflammation and stress. Exercise can reverse sarcopenia. As I've mentioned, the strongest way to fight sarcopenia is to keep your muscles active. This should be done through a combination of resistance training, aerobic exercise, and balance training uh, at least two to four times per week. Resistance training includes weightlifting, uh, pulling against resistant bands, or moving part of the body against gravity. Um, this type of training causes muscle cells to grow and repair themselves, and is the most direct way to increase muscle mass and prevent its loss. Sustained exercise that increases your heart rate, such as aerobic exercise or endurance training, can also help control sarcopenia. Most studies of aerobic exercise for sarcopenia have also included resistance and flexibility training as part of a combination exercise program, um, as we know how important resistance training is. But in this study of 439 women over the age of 50 who followed an aerobic exercise program without resistance training, um, five days per week of cycling, jogging, or hiking increased muscle mass. And women started with 15 minutes of these activities per day, uh, increasing to 45 minutes over 12 months. So that is positive for those who do not do resistance training. Lastly, walking can also prevent and even reverse sarcopenia, which is good news because it's free to do. A study of 227 Japanese adults over 65 years old found that six months of walking increased muscle mass, particularly in those who had low muscle mass already. Uh, the distance each participant walked was different, uh, but they were encouraged to increase their total daily distance by 10% each month. Four nutrients that fight sarcopenia. Firstly, getting protein in your diet directly signals your muscle tissue to grow and strengthen. Uh, this is why eating more protein is even more important as we grow older. The amino acid leucine, which is one of the building blocks of protein, is particularly important for regulating muscle growth. Um, rich sources of leucine include whey protein, meat, fish, and eggs, as well as soy protein isolate. The second important nutrient is vitamin D, as deficiency is related to sarcopenia. Uh, the exact reason why is not very well understood. We know that taking vitamin D supplements can increase muscle strength and reduce the risk of falling. Unfortunately, the best dose of vitamin D for sarcopenia is not currently known. The third important nutrient is omega-3 fatty acids. No matter how old you are, consuming omega-3 fatty acids via seafood or supplements will increase your muscle growth. Uh, a study of 45 women found that a daily two gram fish oil supplement combined with resistance training increased muscle strength more than resistance training without fish oil. Part of this benefit may be due to the anti-inflammatory benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, however, research has suggested that omega-3s might also signal muscle growth directly. Last but certainly not least is creatine. Although your body makes enough of this small protein to prevent you from becoming deficient, uh, supplementing creatine will definitely increase muscle growth. A group of several studies investigated 
how taking a daily 5 gram creatine supplement affected 357 adults with an average age of 64. Now when participants took the creatine, they got more benefits from resistance training compared to when they performed uh, that training with no creatine. In other words, creatine is likely not beneficial for sarcopenia if used alone without exercise. So you have to do resistance exercise if you're going to take creatine. So there you have it. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that you have to stay active. And physical activity must be complemented by a diet that is rich in calories and high quality protein. Early evidence also indicates that omega-3, vitamin D, and creatine supplements can all help control sarcopenia as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.